Morning friends, how are you? It is Monday morning and I have started the morning by having a swim. Well, not started the morning. I had part of my breakfast before I came out and then um, I'll have the rest of it when I go back. I'm actually just waiting a mum to come out from um, getting dressed, but I decided to come out into the car. So I had a lovely swim. The water was warmer than it had been on Friday. Um, Friday was like so cold, it was untrue. But today was, it was warmer so I got more swimming done, which was really good, really pleased about that. Um, but I am taking it very easily. Uh, or what, what for me is easy, where other pocket might be off for goodness sake. But no, it, I did, did a, it was a very, very easy swim for me today. It was lovely, just so nice to be into the pool and just to be able to just start doing a wee bit more, a wee bit more exercise. So that's the that's the positive, good start to my to my week. I don't really have any plans for this week at all. There's nothing major that is like, oh yeah, that's that's happening. Um, what what do I plan to do for the rest of the day? At the moment, go home and have my breakfast and have a nice hot cup of tea. No, it's actually coffee. Oh, I start my mornings with coffee. Oh yes. Um, but apart from that, I've got no other plans to do anything but I'm sure I'll, I'll find things to do I I think I've got, I've got one book review to do so I might get that done today actually that'd be quite good to get that done um but I'll sit and make a to-do list uh so I'll just get myself organized and take it from there but I'll speak to you later bye well this afternoon is going to be spent doing some planning and doing a few other bits and pieces but I've got my my laptop up Spotify up got my planner open um, I have over here sort of some of the stickers, etc., and my pens. But I'm just going to make myself a, a to-do list for this week and just sort of see how and what to plan my week out. But I'll let you sort of see what I've done once I've actually completed it. Okay, hopefully this will be third time lucky to actually export this video. I'm doing my reading vlog video, um, and it's going to be very long because it's like three weeks because Fiona didn't bother or forgot to do all of this ages ago so I'm doing that but while I'm doing that I'm going to do some crocheting of another patch for the blanket so but you hopefully see this up at some point tonight okay I'm watching rugby but I'm about to have a pumpkin pie chocolate from Hotel Chocolat so let's see what it's like mmm oh that's nice Oh, that is very, very nice. Well, friends, that's me uploaded my um, video of book review for Would I Lie to the Duke. I hope you'll go and watch it. Morning, friends. It is Wednesday morning and I've just come out of the pool, as you can see. Um, another good session um, for me, anyway, 12 lengths, so I was quite happy with that. Pool was warmer again, which is nice. Um, it seems to be they're managing to... Uh, get the air temperature actually in the on poolside regulated so that it's not as hot therefore the pool feels warmer which is good um so yeah quite happy with the with the session that was good um didn't vlog anything yesterday or not very much i actually yesterday went and did some christmas shopping yes you heard me right i did some christmas shopping i think the way that everything's going with covid etc i'd rather get mine done now and that's it done so i think i've i've cleared most i've actually cleared most of it um i was going to vlog it but i don't really want if it, people that are buying for see my vlog etc i don't want them seeing what i've got them so um yeah so i'm what i'm planning to do is make up some kind of little presence of this and that and everything else but yes yeah, so I had a really good day with mum yesterday um doing some shopping so that was nice but I have to say I'm absolutely knackered now it's like yeah okay energy levels are not that high <laughs> um so I'll be glad to go home and have, have the rest of my breakfast because I only have like my cereal before I come out and then I'll have the rest of my breakfast when I go back um and then I think I'm just going to take it very easy today. I've got a list of things to do, but they're kind of they're things that I can do sat in my backside, not exerting very much energy. So that's good. Um, but yeah, that's it for for this wee bit of the vlog. Anything else I want to tell you? I'm trying to think, actually. Um, don't think so. I think I might do one of these sit down and chat with me videos or I might do a Q&A actually. I could do a Q&A. That'd be quite hard. Okay, right. I tell you what. 
Um, I'm going to put up my Instagram story. I'll maybe do some Q and A's on my on my Instagram and do a video about that. But we'll see. Anyway, but I'll speak to you later. Bye. Hello, this is me trying to export the video that you've probably seen a couple of clips ago. Um, this is about the fifth time I am trying to export this. Yeah, never mind. This 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 should remind me never to do a try and do a three week vlog again. I'm um, not that I meant to, but hey ho, hopefully that I will get it up today. But yeah, just a bit cheesed off with myself, I have to say. But hey ho, that's the way it's gone. But this will hopefully be up today, and I hope you enjoy it. Sixth time was a charm. That's it. Finally edited and published. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad to got it done. Mind you, I was very productive in the time that it took because I've actually done... This is me on the second one of these, I think. A uh, second patch for the blanket. So that's... Or, you know, the second patch today. So I'm really chuffed with that. So it hasn't all mean, been me just sitting twiddling my thumbs, but hopefully you'll enjoy this video when it's up. I've decided that I'm such a cold rife creator that um, I'm going to take this blanket off and replace it with a sheepskin. This is the one that used to be on or was on my uh, chair, my desk chair downstairs. But because the office is really warm, that will be sufficient to keep me warm. And this will hopefully keep me nice and snugly at night. So I'll let you see what it looks like when it's on. That should be so cosy now. It fits perfectly, which is brilliant. I'm so happy with that. And then I've got my fleecy snuggle, so I should be very nice and cosy. Reading this at bed, reading in this at bedtime. So that's kind of what it looks like in the corner of my room now. Oh, so nice. There we go. That's the that's my work chair now, or my study chair now. Got. It's new red coverings. I think that looks really good and it fits in. Again, it fits really nicely and I can tuggle it, snuggle it into that as well when I need to. So, happy with that. Evening, friends. As you can see, I'm sitting in my cosy chair. Oh, it's so nice. With this sheepskin throw. Oh, no. So, yeah, I'm just sitting here getting ready to read some more of the Lost and Found bookshop. I am enjoying it. I'm... Not quite halfway through, but well, maybe a wee bit over halfway. I've got to try and get this finished for Saturday <laughs> uh, for the Bookish Sisters book group. This is the this is our first book that we're reading. And we've got, there's the live show on Saturday, so I'm really looking forward to that. But I would like quite like to, if, if I can, to finish this book this evening. What did I do? Um, I actually just sat and watched some TV. I read some of this book. Uh, watch some TV, watch um, the new ba Mary Berry series that's on, on BBC Two and the new Nadia Hussain. So I got my fix of food. Um, and then we watched uh, a Bob Ross painting video, which was really, really nice to do. And then I got I watched um, the end of a, an episode of the Property Brothers Forever Homes that I'd started last night and hadn't managed to finish it, so I finished it tonight. I'm just always gobsmacked at what, what they're able to do and how the houses look at the end. It's just, oh, absolutely stunning. But enough of my waffle. Time for me to read and say good night for tonight. Night. Okay, guys, it's Christmas. Um, I'm at a store near Edinburgh called The Range, and I'm just looking at some Christmas decorations. And I thought I would bring you along and let you see what sort of things they've got. Um, yeah, I'm actually vlogging in a store. Woohoo! Um, but yeah, I am buying some stuff, but I'm not letting you see what I'm buying because um, one of them is for for a friend who watches my videos and stuff so and now those of you those of my friends will be going who who's getting what and I'm like I'm not telling you but but yeah so I just thought I'd let you see what some of the things are um you know as I say they haven't got the whole range out yet but they have got quite a number of things so I just thought I would let you see. Okay, they're kind of looking at me. I, I'm going to stop now, but I've given you a wee, a wee taster. Having a little afternoon cuppa, so I've got a hot chocolate here and I've got a chocolate hazelnut cookie, which is actually quite nice. 
So we're sitting in the car, we went, for, went to a drive through so that's really good. Afternoon friends, I thought I would show you how I do um, cards and inserts for my cards. So we use a, a, a pro computer program called the Print Shop. Um, so I've gone to Project Picker and it says greetings cards and it tells you all the different kinds that we're going for. So I'm going for a printed one. So I go next. And I want to do a quarter fold and I want to start from scratch. Next. And I'm going tall and I'm going side fold. So I go finish. And this is what I get. So I'm going to make that bigger. Okay. So if I go up here, I go to insert. And I'm going to go from file. And it takes me to all my, my photo my photos from you know that I, ha I save on my computer so let's see what one will I go for oh let's go for the little owls so the little owls uh, so I clicked on that and then just click open and this is going to now I'm going to work this out a minute there we go not that in the front or the back <laughs> no I want it in the front that's right so I'm just going to make that a wee bit bigger because I think it's so cute it's really hard actually to do this while talking and so I do that and then I'm going to go to arrange position and hopefully this will do what I want and centre on page and that's it centred on the page. So that's that part of the insert done. So I go down here to the bottom and I go back. So this is the back. You just probably think to yourself, but Fiona, the way you're doing it, this is an insert, so I need to remember that on the back I need to do the writing. So up on this side here, we've got all of these things here. So I'm going to go to text tools, and I'm going to do insert text box, and there is my text box. Now what I do is I double click inside it, so I've got a cursor, and I go up here, and I can choose um, any font, you know, all the different fonts. So I think I am going to go with. Nah, I don't like that. Um, let's see, there where's one of my favourites. No, I don't like hobby. Where's the, I'm looking for an L. But as you see, there's loads of different There we go. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna make it size 14. And I'm doing red all the time this time for my um, my writing. So I do insert. So that was object. And then I go line. And then again I choose that. And then I just start typing on my computer what I want to see. So I'm going to pause it while I write in the read thingy bob. Okay, so I've written the wee sort of sentiment bit. And then to change... Mum's coming to see her because I, I had a, I had a wee bit of a, a mis mistake, but I'll tell you, you that. You touched it. I touched it, but I've untouched it, Mammy. Made a blunder. I made a blunder. But so there you go. There's the sentiment put in, and I'm now going to insert again from a file. I'm going to go to where am I going to go to? Um, get the right picture. I'm going to get a picture. Open that. So I've gone to Christmas cards from my room. And then I think, what am I going to look for? What am I going to go for? Let me see. Come on, let's see something. What does that say? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's got to be that. And I open. And so I need to make that smaller and put that about there. And that's it. That's me. That's me designed an insert. So I will let you see me designing a card is basically the same thing except you put the picture in the front. So I'm now about to go and print these. Um, but hopefully this time they're right. So I'll see you soon. Okay, mum is very kindly cutting the inserts for me because she's more experienced at doing this than I am. Um, so that's the inserts for the top fold cards. She's cut a couple. 
So a oh, sneaky peek at one of my Christmas cards. So that's the inside. Oh, so the, that's the outside. And then she says, and that is the inside. So all I have to do now is glue them. So I just use print stick. There are other glues available. Just put glue along there, place that in, fold over. It is that easy. So that's how we make cards in our family. So I've glued it and that's what it looks like. Um, and I'll show you one of the other ones. That one, and then she says, it can be very difficult doing things one handed for me. And then, ah, that, and that. So, I'm not going to let you see all my Christmas cards because they're just spoil the surprise for all those, for those of you that are getting them. So, hope you enjoy. Well, it's Friday evening, or just barely Friday evening, and I've finished the Lost and Found Bookshop by Sus Susan Wiggs. It was really beautiful. I really enjoyed this book and I'm looking forward to discussing it at book group tomorrow night, which is Saturday the 26th. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what everybody else thought of this book. So I now need to find myself another book to read, but that won't be difficult. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, I've chosen my next book to read um, on my Kindle, so I'm doing that. And while I'm doing that, Dad is doing his German on um, Duolingo, so he's he's enjoying himself, and I'm about to enjoy myself with this book. Well, I finished the Kindle book I started tonight. It was a novella, so that was great. I didn't I hadn't realised it was a novella, so I finished that tonight, and then started um, the new Susan Mallory that I got. Um, so really happy with that, but I don't really like reading my Kindle in bed at night, so I always read a book. So I'm going to start the new Kathy Rice, A Conspiracy of Bones. Oh, I love me Temp Brennan. I really, really enjoy the Temp Brennan books. So I'm so looking forward to reading this, but I will speak to you tomorrow. Bye. I've just taken the the, the dust cover off of the new Temp Brennan book. Look at it. Oh my lord. And then wait till you see the, look at the end papers. Is that not just fantastically spooky? Oh, I'm liking this. That is beautiful. Hoo -hoo. And is it the same at the back? Yeah, same at the back. Oh, fantastic. This is going to be a great read. I got snail mail today. I've got this beautiful paper in with it. That is gorgeous. Oh, I'm, I know, I think I know how I'm going to use that. And then I've got some tea and some washi tape. How lovely is that? I am so looking forward to reading this letter. But that was, that was a really nice thing to get in the post today. Well, I'm having a wee afternoon of doing, doing some crochet while watching some European rugby. And at the moment, Exeter are winning, which is what we want. But yeah, make, doing some crochet and enjoying the rugby. Hey friends, how are you? It is Saturday evening, it's half ten. Um, I've just come up to start doing a wee bit of reading before I go to bed. I've had a nice day, it's been very busy this morning. As you can see, the curtains have been changed and we moved a bookshelf. So that, that CD stroke bookshelf was moved today. Um, and there's still a bit, a few other things I want to do in my room. Um, just to change, not to change things up, but I just need to sort of tidy things up a bit. Um, basically it's like in my wardrobe, so that's fine. Might get that done t tomorrow. Um, but tonight I also had um the Bookish Sisters book group where we were talking about um the lost and found the lost and found bookshop by Susan Wiggs. It was a, it was an interesting discussion. It, it was I enjoyed it. It was good, and we we know what our next book group book is. So, um, if you want to become a member of the the Bookish Sisters book group, um, if you head over to Goodreads and find their page, I'm sure they'd welcome you with open arms. Um, but yeah, so at the moment I'm about to start doing some more reading of the the new Temp Brennan from last night. I'm slightly confused in it in that 
some some things have happened I don't remember happening in our, in, our, in the book before but I noticed in this of the books on the inside there's um there's another one which is bones buried deep but I don't have it so I don't know whether it's happened in that so I need to find out um but I'm going to still continue reading reading this one because I'm really enjoying it anyway enough of my waffle I'm about to go and read and I'll see you tomorrow bye I thought I'd do another cook with me video so I am doing low fat brownies but mine are going to be different because I'm not having the raspberries I'm going to show you I'll show you what I'm going to do so here are your ingredients and then there are the instructions so in here I have the flour the cocoa and the baking powder and in here I have the eggs the oil the sugar and the vanilla and if we come over to the microwave I'm afraid I didn't bother doing the, the chocolate over a pan of boiling water life is too short if you've got a microwave microwave it so I just need to give this a little stir okay that took a minute and a half on full power for the nine ounces of chocolate to to melt so i just need to leave that to cool while i whip this until it's i think i'm going to be nice and thick yep so i'll whip this till it's nice and thick and i'll let you see that what, what it looks like okay we tip um angle the bowl when you're doing this it makes it easier um the other thing to tell you is i don't have the right amount of sugar in here i've half the sugar so it's taking longer to thicken and it may actually not thicken as much as we want it to thicken but we're going to roll with it um, so mum's taking a wee turn to see if we can get it thicken a wee bit more okay so with, that's what we've done it with there is absolutely loads and loads of air in there so what I have to do now is sift the flour over this and fold it in so I'll do, I'll do that and then I'll get to the folding in bit right I folded in the all the flour and the baking powder and the cocoa plus the melted chocolate and this is what you get you want to try and keep it as aerated as you possibly can you do not want to like flatten the mixture so what i'm going to do is going to put half of this yes you heard me half of this into my prepared pan i'll show you what i'm going to do after that okay instead of using raspberries i'm using mint thins now okay i'm using as does but you can there are various other makes that you can use and all you do is you just hopefully put them layer them across the way so I'm going to do that because it's easier doing it with two hands than one I'm cutting down the okay so I've got 12 so 12 4 8 12 and I've got 16 of those and then all I'm going to do is top it with the rest of the mix okay it's now ready for the oven so um, we're one six, I'm one, I've got 165 so that's going to bake for 20 to 25 minutes and I'll let you see what it looks like when it comes out. We bought one of these wee solar fountains and it just goes, look at that, is that not just so sweet? Oh, really chuffed with that. Okay, we could probably maybe want it going a bit higher, but still working. Yeah. Well, this is the brownie. Um, it's been out the oven, obviously cooled. And that's what it looks like. This will focus. Come on, focus, focus, focus. You don't actually see the sort of the layer of the, the the mint chocolate bit, but it is a very nice open light browning. Um, we just had we had a bigger slice than normal because uh, we use it for our pudding. But normally we would probably have a we have a slice about that. Um, you know, each time. So you get you get quite a bit out of it. We're going to just sort of probably keep that one out and put that into the freezer because it freezes very well as well. So if you make it, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to know what you think of it. See you later. Bye.